Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 original SNES card review. Today I'm going to take a look at John Mac, which if you've never played it before, it's basically a slight scrolling platformer, and that's about that one. So at the start you've got one player game, two player game, two player super game, and options. Two player game is just co-op, two player super game is co-op, but you can actually hit each other, so it switches friendly fire on basically. So options, you've got things like difficulty controls and stuff like that, nothing really major or anything like that, nothing, any, no cool features or stuff. And uh, this is basically the start of the game, this is the map screen. So these white things here that you can see all over, they're basically kind of like checkpoints. After you beat a level, if you go up to them, then that'll be like where you start from again if you die. The uh, green things are basically like locked bridges and you can get keys to go on to those different things, different routes. Some are bonus areas where, I'll show you a bonus area a bit later on, basically there's a cool one where you can just like refill your health and get some air, uh, get an extra life because it's just a load of air, uh, well, meat falling down. So there's uh, all sorts of different weapons on the game and there's uh, four weapons overall basically. You can get these boomerangs which fly out your club and they're pretty cool. You can get bones, you can get fire, stuff like that. And uh, you just hit select to change between them as well so it's always worth collecting them because it's a type of thing of, it's not like, well as I say you can change between them, it's not exactly once you collect one then you can't go back to the other. So it's always worth collecting them. In the top left corner and top right corner you've got your energy and you've got your lives and stuff like that. As I've already said you refill energy by collecting bits of meat like this here. There's bigger bits of meat and the smaller bits of meat and they all like give different pieces of health obviously. And uh, basically the whole point of the game is though you go left to right, kill a load of enemies, you get to a boss and then you kill the boss. It's quite cool on co-op because whoever's got the most hits on the boss gets the kiss from the damsel that you see him. So that's a pretty cool thing because it's the type of kind of like small gloat thing you can have with your mate. There's uh, all sorts of different other like sub control things you can do, so you can jump and if you hold up you can do a really high jump. You can uh, walk on certain enemies, when you die and mess up like that then you get to float around a little bit. So sometimes if you're on a hard bit it's actually worth flying over it like that if you've died because you might as well take advantage of it. You can also double dash and you can do a little roll, which I'll just try and show you as soon as I'm down here on this flat surface. There we go. So that's, uh, that's pretty much everything there is to say about the game. Uh, there's 12 levels overall, and obviously there's like loads of bosses to fight, there's, uh, which we are coming up to one now, so I'll just like, uh, shut up, let you listen to a little bit of the music, I'll show you a boss, and I'll also show you that bonus stage I was on about. So there we go then, that was a bit of the music, a boss, and uh, one of the bonus stages as well. But uh, that's basically everything there is to say about the game, or, well, other than concentrate, because again I've just messed up and died there. But uh, graphically things, as you can see, are pretty damn good. It's uh, a very colourful game, and it's also very, like, kind of gritty and dark looking and stuff like that. And I think the character models are amazing. And uh, that's pretty much everything then. So. Oh, to be fair, actually, there is one other thing I should mention. Seeing as I've just died there, obviously, if you die, you don't get a continue on right away. Basically, your mate can complete the level, and if so, then it's probably best like to kill him off on the next level, and then you both continue. So basically, you both have to die before one can continue. It's uh, a little irritating, to be fair, at times, but at the same time, you can just, uh, if you're right next to the end of the level, and one of you dies and all that, then it's always worth finishing the level off with the other one. So there we go then, that's been the review. I hope you've enjoyed it, or at least found it helpful. You might have noticed I didn't score the game. Well that's because it's a matter of personal opinion, and yours may very well differ from my own. I'm just here to show you a bit about the game. If you like it or not, well that's up to you. If you don't like it, or you do like it, feel free to comment. 
Also, if I haven't answered any of your questions that you may have had, I might have forgot something, or it might just be something obscure. Again, feel free to comment, ask, always willing to help out. Otherwise, if you don't like commenting on YouTube, head over to www.vc-forums.com where you can chat with me and a bunch of other lads who love the VC, the WiiWare and hell, even a lot of other systems. We cater to pretty much everything. You can just go there, have a chat about a game, ask about some games, etc. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.